Hello friends, today we are going to see how file dialog works in Visual C++. Okay, let's start it. New programs. File. Open workspace. I have already created this uh, project, so let's, let's uh, see it. Open. And press F5. Or you can use this button. Click button. Let us select some file. Sunset. Open. Okay. This will show sunset.jpg. Its extension is <coughs> jpg. And uh, the full path of the file. Okay. Now let us understand how this thing works. To create a new project, you can go to File, New, Projects, select MFC Wizard, give your project name, then click Next, and uh, select Dialog Based. Okay. Okay, select Dialog Based and click Finish. I have already created this project, so I am not going to do it right now. Cancel. Okay, once you do this, <coughs> you will have a dialog box over there. Delete extra things from dialog box. Okay, create one button. Select this one. Create button like this. And after uh, creating button, you can set its caption. Now double click on this button. It will create uh, one method for us on button 1 okay to create a file dialog okay so we have to create first of all one object of the C file dialog so write down C capital C file dialog and then a name of the object and we have to pass either true or false if we pass true that means it will uh, open file open dialog box and if we pass false then it will uh, create file dialog box to save a file okay so now we are going to open it to open a dialog box there is a method do model so write down an object then do 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 and do model if it's open then it will return id ok ok so we are uh, it's i mean if it open any file then it will return id ok so once it uh, return uh, one, once it open a file then we can uh, use different method of that object to access the data so we first created a variable c string s1 and we are going to store file name in it so t1 that is our object of the file dialog box and get file and na file name is a method using this method we will retrieve a uh, file name and store it in s1 variable now we want to see this variable so we use a message box in message box it will print a file name then th in the same way we created another variable and here we are getting the extension of the file okay and again printing it uh, showing it in message box and the third one is get path name it will return full path of the file uh, where it is stored so and we are again showing it in message box let us run it again and see it okay file dialog box we are going to open some other file okay here is a name of file here is extension 
and here is a full path of the file hope you understand this project and uh, thank you for watching see you in next video